What is going on everyone? How are you all doing? This is Yix here at Magna Crypto, back again for another video. So in this video, as per usual, we're doing a market breakdown covering eight coins today. So stick around and let's get the show on the road. So before we get started, just a small request. I'm about 260 subscribers away from the 1K target. If you haven't already done so, I would very much appreciate it if you join me on this journey towards 1K. I'll be very honest with you. I'm even surprised one person subscribed to this channel to listen to this monotone voice talk about crypto, but apparently a few of you enjoy it and are getting some good knowledge. So I must be doing something right. So as I said, if you enjoy this content, subscribe and like this video and let's keep moving forward now i want to preface this breakdown with some historical data i do believe that although we've had a strong run and we'll get into the proper breakdown shortly i think the next major correction is coming very soon perhaps at the end of this month or in the first week or two of march and let's let's have a quick look at the 2017 bull run um, to illustrate my point. Now, as always, history does not repeat itself, but it does rhyme. So, of course, keep that in mind. So, the last bull run we were at, around February time, the end of Feb, as you can see, the week of the 20th, and then going into the first week of March, uh, 27th, sorry, and then into the first week of March, there was a dip of, let's measure that, from the top, it was about 35% uh, correction or retracement before continuing on breaking past that. Now, all in all, from the week of the 27th, the time it took for price to actually break past this high, so that's actually the week of the 6th, it was about a month, almost two months, so seven weeks, right, until it broke that high. Now that that wasn't seven weeks until we, we actually hit the bottom. So that was actually about three weeks, I believe. So that's three candles, hit the bottom, and then it started its retracement. And then you have, of course, some more massive wicks, which normally gets rid of the weak hands, the, the ones that are not that confident in the project, they jump out at this point. So almost two months of correction plus the recovery. And this happened at the end of February, beginning of March. Now, as, as I said, history is not gonna repeat itself, but it will rhyme. So be wary of, you know, perhaps it could be next week the correction starts, or could be, could be a week after, maybe the midpoint of March, who knows, but just be ready for it. So, you know, bear this in mind when I'm doing the correction, um, the market breakdown as I will be mentioning this. So going into Bitcoin, and now Bitcoin has completed what is called a, a beautiful measured move up, right? So this is basically, if it wants to go up. So this is basically a, a rally of a certain increase. So this line from the bottom here to the high. And then what you would do, you would move that to the bottom of this correction and you would have a measured move up. So it's actually gone past this uh, and now it's at 57K. Uh, so it's gone past what I would call a measured move or what is called a measured move up and the typical target for that. So in my eyes, the correction isn't too far away. Now, of course, it can carry on. As you saw in the illustration of 2017, there was a massive like blow off top, a massive wick to the upside before it came back down and started to correct. Now, of course, we can, as I mentioned, have a blow off top situation where it might increase to 60,000 and beyond before retracing. However, I don't think there is too much left for Bitcoin to increase in this current rally. Having a quick look back at 2017, if you look from the previous high, this week over here until the next high, 
it was about a 20% increase. So not too much, basically. So if we have a look at the previous high, which was 41K, it's gone up about almost 40% since that point. So it's it's gone up a fair amount already. This does lead me to believe that there isn't too much left in this current rally. Of course, Bitcoin constantly proves everyone wrong. Um, but I do think in the next three, four weeks, in, ne in the next month, the correction will be coming once again. Again, this is completely normal. It's going to correct for new buys to come in, for people to take profits and the cycle to continue until the end of the year. Moving on to Ethereum. Now, Ethereum has been lagging behind Bitcoin. It's currently smashed through our uh, weekly Fibonacci targets and even our four hourly. It's literally, I mentioned, I've been mentioning this in my private Telegram group. The targets have been plotted up to a week ago, maybe more. Uh, you can see the extension perfectly being hit and then being used as resistance. From then using this as support, it tapped the 618 extension. It's retraced a little bit uh, and it's consolidated in between these two points. I do think it's gonna smash through 2000 properly and enter price discovery because it is lagging behind Bitcoin. And, and perhaps when Bitcoin corrects, that's when Ethereum will blast forward because there is a lot of interest in Ethereum. A lot of institutions are starting to aim towards Ethereum for the next moonshot. So Ethereum is, is yet to really explode to the upside. I think this will happen um, before the, the correction in March or the end of this month. So there's still some time left for Ethereum. I think it hasn't broken past its key $2,000 level. Who knows, it could even br smash through all the way to 3K. That for me would be a bit far-fetched early in this cycle, but it's, of course it is possible because Ethereum has not smashed past its all-time high like Bitcoin has. The previous all-time high was only $1,400. So that's only $500 more than the previous high. So it's still got a long, a long way to go. Next, we'll have a look at Polkadot. So Polkadot has continued to smash it as expected all the way from down here when we invested. It's done essentially a 10x now from, from that point on. Firstly, let's move to the weekly time frame. So from the previous low, it's literally doubled in price, 160%. So it's absolutely smashed. The next major target is $50. So there is, I do have some hope that there is a possibility that we'll smash through these levels, 42, and then around 50, maybe 48, 49, or even just past it, 51, 52, people will start to take a lot of profits and it will have a, a significant retracement. That's what I can see happening because it is a very important level. 50 is a big even number. People often look at 50 as that target to take profit at. So that's what I'm looking at next. However, at the same time, Polkadot is, in my eyes, in between a rock and a hard place. So it's very close to the next target, um, but it also has increased quite significantly from the previous low. So what I'm saying essentially is it could be running out of fuel very, very soon. This could be the point where it retraces. If it does start to turn around and reverse, then the levels I'm looking at is $30.25 as the point at which it will find support. So you can see here, there was some support at around $29.30 and then at 25, yeah. So this, this was essentially around 27 to $30. So this area over here is what I'm looking at as, as support. And from the top, that would be about a 25% to 30 percent correction now if that doesn't hold then i would say 25 dollars is the next major level which would be about 40 percent 40 percent correction what could also happen is i've had this trend line for a while and this is a very very uh, respected trend line for polka dot so 
we can easily see another test of this trend line. I have mentioned this before and it isn't too far away from the trend line. So it could easily test this around $27, $28 before continuing on. But we'll have to see in the next week. There's still time, I think, for alts to really explode, have that blow off top, that overextension before correcting. So let's see how that goes. Next, we'll be looking at the graph. So the graph is, is one of the outstanding performance it, performers in the last month or so. It's been it absolutely exploded. Everyone's talking about how much it increased in price. And of course, you know, that's a good 10x that it's done since uh, last month. So of course, it's going to be all over social media, all over crypto Twitter. Uh, and it's actually a fantastic project. So it's understandable why it's doing so well. Now, after it broke out of this handle formation at around 72 cents, it exploded in price up until $3, which was a, a big round number. It's retraced until $1.65. So what I've done is plotted a Fibonacci on this, uh, using this as the low and the top of $3, which is a, uh, an ultimate high here. And then you can see that it's retraced to the 50% level on this Fibonacci. So this could be enough of a retracement for it to continue on, smash through the all-time high of $3, and then probably hit, most likely hit the 0.27 extension, and then continue on to the next big target, which is $5. Now there's strong momentum behind graph the graph, so I can see this happening. Conservative target would be 0.27 extension, and then the higher targets would be the other two extensions. That is what I see with the graph. Gutted that I didn't get this early on, but of course you cannot get every, you cannot catch every pump, so it is what it is. Next we have Cake, Pancake Swap, a decentralized exchange running on Ethereum, or I think it's running on the Binance chain, uh, sorry. I think it is running on the Binance chain correction. Now this crypto, like Sushi Swap and like Uniswap, it's just one of those funny meme names that you don't take seriously until you see how much of a, a gain it's made. And this is absolutely insane, unbelievable gains for something called Pancake Swap. So about 15x in the space of a month. So if you caught this, you obviously smashed it. At the moment, it's, a, it's in a clear parabolic rise. So you can see this increase very, very steep. Of course, unsustainable in the, in the long term. However, while it's in this, until it breaks this parabolic curve, which is essentially a steep curve. Let me see if I can draw it out. Where's the curve? So the parabolic curve is essentially like this. Once it once it breaks this, there'll be somewhat of a 20-30% correction. However, while it's still in this parabolic rise, it will continue on. So I can see it breaking $20, or that, that will be the next major thing for it to break $20. Now, are investors going to think this is oversold? Are they going to start taking profits now? We'll have to see, but twenty dollars is the is the big even number. Now it has hit that already, but it has retraced it, so it needs to close above twenty dollars uh, for for it to continue this parabolic rise. If it closes below and it starts to reject, then for sure we can see a twenty thirty percent correction down to fifteen dollars, perhaps or even further. Um, it depends on on the on the investors. Are they going to think this is the end? of this parabolic rise, you know, take your, we're going to take our profits and leave or are they, do they believe in the project and are they going to hold and are they going to think $15 is still good value? We will have to see, but absolutely insane, insane gains. Next, let's have a look at Litecoin. Now Litecoin is doing something very similar to Ethereum and big uh, in terms of it's lagging behind Bitcoin. 
Now, Ethereum has still not broken its all-time high, so it will probably do this shortly. It's definitely due to. Uh, I still think it's going to drop out of the top 10. Litecoin, I think it's its days is uh, the days are numbered for Litecoin. It hasn't got too much left, in my opinion. It's going to get overtaken by other projects with more use case, like all the decentralized exchanges. However, from a technical point of view, it's above a very key resistance level of $217, $218 or $220. If it can close above this and use it as support, that will be very bullish. Then I can see for sure $300 getting hit as a next target. Um, but the key thing is to close above this resistance level and make it support. The next res resistance level would be around 192 and then below that would be $170. So let's see what it wants to do going forward. But it has already, similar to Bitcoin, it had it done uh, somewhat of a, of a measured move. So let's draw this out. Correction and then increase. So it's it's in terms of the measured move, it's near the top of it. So if it can just close above the, this resistance, gain some support, and then continue on going further. So this is the key level it's at. It's at a very important level. And then the next targets would be first, first of all, two hundred seventy, and then three hundred dollars, three hundred seven dollars. So let's see how that does. Next, we'll have a look at Cardano. Cardano absolutely smashing it. So let's look at the USD chart because it has more data. So Cardano absolutely smashed it. Even since its last major move is done 255%, so 2.5x. Great project and it just come out with its latest um, development, introducing smart contracts to the platform. Uh, so it's at a very important level now. It's just past the $1 level, $1 region. So this is very important. It needs to reclaim this as support and then have a go at the all time high of $1.30, $1.40. It could very well go straight for it it's not too far away a lot of people are bullish on cardano so it could definitely attack this um all-time high but there is going to be a lot of selling pressure i believe because a lot of people i think a fair amount of people would have bought cardano at the previous cycle in 2017 2018 they would have bought this at all-time high so there's going to be i think a fair amount of people that will take profit that might have held for a long time and now they want to take their money out. So I will be looking for that sell side pressure from Cardano at this previous all time high. And I'll be wary of that. I, ex I suspect people will take profits there, but we'll see, it could easily smash past it. Let's be patient and observe. If it does, um, as I said, in terms of support, I'm looking at $1 for the support, maybe just below it, um, but the $1 level is key. After that, there's going to be support at around $0.66. Uh, 66 cents. Next, this is the last one. Unfortunately, one of my members, he requested a um, cover of Apollo. Unfortunately, there isn't a chart that I can find on TradingView. Uh, maybe it has not been listed on the, the right exchanges. So I can only do a market breakdown using the information on CoinGecko. So it's going to be more of a a basic analysis but there's still enough data to you know do a decent analysis so what I'm looking for what I'm looking at here is this clear resistance at around 0 0.0025 cents and it's literally been dead for about two years or a year and a bit since October it has been just ranging around potentially accumulating around uh, 0 0.001 and just below that it's now gapped up and exploded uh, and hit a, a, a resistance level around 0 0.002 but what I'm looking for mainly with this project is to test that key resistance level 
at 0.0025. It needs to break this. There's another resistance level at 0.0035, but it needs to break this and then attempt the all time high. But there's going to have to be some kind of hype around this project to push it up because it has been dormant for a quite a long time. So there needs to be something that's going to push up an injection of volume or liquidity. Otherwise, I can't see it breaking past uh, these resistance levels. It could get slapped back down to these areas. If it does reverse from these levels, then you need to find support at potentially a previous resistance level at this high of uh, 0.0012. If it can do that, that will be a bullish case scenario because if it claims this as support, then it can build on that and then potentially consolidate in the next area between this and this and then carry on going higher. That would be the bullish case scenario. If it doesn't use this as support after it gets rejected potentially, then I think um, I don't see this going very high. But I think the key part for this is from a fundamental point of view, if there is some kind of mainnet, mainnet launch or if there, there is some kind of hype surrounding the project, maybe a, a new version coming out or some kind of hype that will bring liquidity to the project, then I don't see it going too far um, because it has been around for such a long time, 2018, and it hasn't gone up that much. So that's my, my, my thoughts on that. That will be all for this market breakdown. Hope you got some value from that. The market is looking very bullish. As I said, though, be careful for the correction to come in imminently looking at the historical data. Overall, though, of course, the year is still killing it. You're smashing through targets. It's going to be a, a big year, I think. As I mentioned in, at the beginning of the video, join me on my journey to 1K. I'm very, very close. So if you could subscribe if you haven't done so, I'd very much appreciate that. And that'll be all for this video. See you in the next one. Peace.